What's good, BitRushers? It's Kyler, and this is BitRush Crypto. I'm here today with just a real quick Bitcoin trading update analysis. Just want to let you guys know what I'm doing, what I'm looking at, what I'm seeing, and where I think we're going. So if you guys are looking to trade any of this action, make sure you guys use the links below and get yourself a sign-up bonus for any new user accounts. So if that sounds good, stick around. If you're new, please do subscribe. Click the like button on this video, and here we go. So not a lot has changed since the last video. We've kind of been consolidating here in this middle range. We do look like we've had a recent Bart Simpson pattern here on the 30 minute. Um, we can kind of see that just coming up Bart Simpson here for a little bit and then dropping back down kind of to that red line. Uh, the start of the move there and that's kind of what I'm looking at right here is for the price action to hit somewhere around 43 um, 750 something like that 43 8 somewhere in that range so uh, 43,800 guys and at that point I think we're still moving up because if we zoom out we can see overall um, this is still a bullish trend here so um, while we are kind of having a little bit of a consolidation and, you know, just a little drop, basically right now I'm just continuing to open up longs the lower the price goes here as it drops below these EMAs on the 30 minute. And we can see that on the RSI we are down out of our channel, which is usually a good buy signal in terms of a several day swing type trade, especially on the 30 minute here. Um, spiking down below you know usually we can see after that we move back up um, spike below and we come back up we spike below and we come back up it does not mean however that we are done going down as sometimes we come down back up and then out of that channel again and that can mean even bigger drops down guys so um, you know again if we drop below this we're possibly looking at back to the bottom here around 38,000 where our next um, previous move was the previous support there and so I don't want to see this drop below that point right there but again just zooming out back to our one day let's look at like the one day chart we can see we're still pretty bullish on everything here guys um, we are again correcting out of the top of the RSI and coming back down so we need to build a little more momentum pump, pump, pump again however everything on the MACD looks green and trending up and we have decent amount of volume here a little bit of sell volume guys as I mentioned people are taking profits from this pump it's gonna happen you see we have this pump people take profits they re-enter again where people are taking profits here there's gonna be a little bit of a consolidation but I think overall we are continuing to move up and let me just switch back to my other chart where we can see our trend lines so again guys you know we are looking for that target at the top of the green box somewhere in the 47 to 48 thousand dollar range i think we're going to go a little bit higher uh, as i mentioned previously up to about 49,000 before coming back down and retesting the top of that box again i mentioned if we were able to find support here in the middle of the green box this would also be a super super bullish sign as we did drop right through and we haven't really had anything in that range other than the upper part here right around uh, I would say right about 44.9, and that's kind of where we're holding. We're dropping a little out of that. So again, that line doesn't really mean anything, but if we can find support here, that would be great. We don't want to come back down to the bottom around 40. Um, you know, not wanting to see that at all. We did find a little bit of support here earlier um, in the week here around 43.75. So I think if anything, that's probably the bottom around 43.42. Um, I wouldn't see it going much lower than that if we're holding a bullish trend. If we do drop below that, guys, we'll have to relook at this as a possible bearish trend but right now again guys don't get worried um, I'm not worried I'm actually opening up longs here laddering in just small positions and as we get a confirmation on the 30 minute guys again let's go back to that 
the way I trade is on momentum. So we're down on the bottom of the RSI, which is a buy signal for me. We're down on the bottom on the MACD, which is a buy signal for me. Obviously the price is getting to the bottom of the trend that we're looking to get, which is right around that 43.7 mark. We already talked about both with the Bart Simpson pattern and just finding previous support. At that point, we're looking for the MACD line to cross back over. So this blue line to cross over like it did here, like it did here, but they were both in a down trend. So we want to cross over and kind of signal the bottom there, guys, like right here. You can see the bottom is actually right there and then it crossed over right here. So this is how we get confirmation that it's not just a, one of these little whoopty up and downs. Um, once we see the confirmation, that is my buy signal. So again, um, laddering in positions, small positions, we get the crossover on the 30 minute. Um, it's looking good and I'm probably gonna enter a significant long size position. That's it for my crypto analysis today, guys. Again, my target is right around $49,000, guys, for Bitcoin. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying this little uh, bullish trend now after that after that couple weeks of bear trend. Um, I'm glad to be out of that, back to making money here with longs. If you guys are enjoying it, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. Throw this thing on social media so all your friends and family and anyone um, you care about on there can also get an expert crypto analysis and start making some sick gains. If you're not already, sub to the channel, give it a like. Happy crypto. Let's get that going.